Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. Mark Kazi here from Black Hat Comics and Rocket Milpitas. Every Wednesday is New Comic Day and I like to give you some great reasons to get down to your local comic shop and pick up something fun to read. Uh, this is the fifth Wednesday of the month, probably the smallest week we've seen in a long time, but as always, there's lots of great things to talk about. Gonna start with the Marvel guys this week. It's a really big week for them, actually. Gotta start with my all-time favorite. This is Captain America, Sam Wilson, number seven which is doubling as the 75th anniversary issue of Captain America number one way back in 1941. You can read more about this in our newsletter. Everybody knows I'm a big Captain America fan. This one's supersized. Uh, it has your main story, which is your Avengers standoff, and a bunch of uh, little stories about other Captain Americas. Great book this week. Really looking forward to that one. And Daredevil, also out this week. One of the biggest books Marvel has these days. You're uh, probably already finished binge watching season two. Uh, if you don't know anything about the Netflix Daredevil, you gotta check it out. And you gotta check out the new series because it's been really awesome. And in X News, your latest all new X Men, and your first issue of X Men 92. Bringing back the uh, classic days of Claremont and Jim Lee X Men universe stuff. All you 90s flashback fans are getting a treat this week with that one. Amazing Spider-Man. This is 1.4. This is the side story for what's going on in the main book. That's why it doesn't have the uh, super awesome Alex Ross covers, but the uh, 0.1, 0 0.2 covers have been pretty swell as well. I think that's Bagley. Drax is your Guardians of the Galaxy book this week. He's taking on Fin Fang Foom right there. You don't know who Fin Fang Foom is? Come on. Hercules, this one might be flying under your radar, but it's been a lot of fun. Some good stories, really solid art in this book. I'm a big fan of Hercules being an Avengers Thor guy. So been encouraging folks to check that out. Still got a couple copies of number one left. Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. And Unbeatable Squirrel Girl are your uh, ladies of Marvel for this week. And your all new, all different Marvel Universe official handbook is your uh, wacky one shot for the week. If you want to catch up on things like Spider Gwen and the new Miss Marvel and whatnot, that's your latest official handbook. If you're listening to the podcast a couple weeks ago, I was talking about the original official handbook. Really encourage folks to pick these up, they're fun informational. And of course, Darth Vader, it's your Star Wars book of the week. All this Star Wars stuff has been huge. So if you're one of the three people who's not been checking that out, really encourage you to get in on that. Good stuff. Like I said, big week for the Marvel guys, but a pretty small week for everybody else. Batman and Robin Eternal, this is your last issue of the weekly Batman Robin New 52 stuff. That's number 26. Aquaman number 50. Supersized issue with the cool Superman versus Batman cover. And speaking of variant covers, this is your Neil Adams cover to Justice League of America. If you don't know the homage of that one, you really shouldn't. You should probably own that book. Great stuff. And this is your Vertigo first issue book, Suiciders. I'm encouraging you guys to check out all the new Vertigo stuff that's rolling out. Since there's not a lot of DC stuff, I'm gonna throw this one out there. This is World's Funnest. It's a big trade paperback for all of the uh, Mixius Pitalik Batmite team ups. If you're a Superman fan or a Batman fan, uh, you'll like a laugh once in a while. This is a book you definitely want to pick up. Lots of great stories, some things uh, you've probably never seen before going on in this one. So, again, if you're a DC fan, it's well worth checking out. Lots of good stuff from the other guys. Not a Mignola book to talk about, so I'll mention Conan the Avenger. Always talking up what a great job Dark Horse does with their licensed property stuff. Conan, King Conan out this week. Great stuff there. Along with Fight Club 2, it's my other Dark Horse book this week. Written by the same guys who made the movie, so it's an actual sequel. Cool stuff. Great week for the Image guys. Saga, probably the second biggest book they have. Doesn't come out very often, so I know you've been waiting for that one. Black Science from my man Rick Remender. It's my favorite image book rolling out these days. Always like an opportunity to pitch Black Science to all of my Black Cat fans. 
And when I said the second biggest, it's because this guy, Walking Dead, is easily the biggest book Image has, one of the biggest books in comics. This is volume 25 trade paperback. You know, a lot of you are following Walking Dead in trade paperback and not in the regular periodical format. So that's your latest volume there. Can't say enough about Walking Dead. Great week for IDW as well. How about Street Fighter versus G.I. Joe? Or Back to the Future. If you were at Silicon Valley Comic Con, a lot of you got a chance to uh, see the original Back to the Future cast, and that was really awesome. This book has been super popular. So if you're a fan, you want to check that out. And Godzilla, Oblivion number one. New Godzilla title from IDW. Great stuff there. Faith is your only Valiant book this week. Doesn't she look a little like Hillary Clinton on the cover there? Jughead is my Archie book of the week. Always love some Jughead. They've got some new books out. This one, Archie, there's going to be a Betty and a Veronica title coming out. Not necessarily all ages, but definitely uh, accessible and approachable to all readers. Love me some Jughead. Still got a couple copies of the first issue, so check that out. It's lots of fun. And Marvel Ultimate Spider-Man Web Warriors is my kids book this week because this is Contest of Champions number one. Even all ages titles are not immune to the big crossover event madness. And I love anything with Craven the Hunter. So like I say, not a very big week, but lots and lots of great stuff. As you can tell from the power tools behind me, our construction is well underway. So if you've been wondering uh, what's going on with that and everybody's been asking, uh, well, you can see the guys working in the back right now. Parking lot's done. Everything's moving right along. We're, we're pumping it out, trying to get there for free comic day. So good fun there. Thanks for putting up with us over all this time and being patient with the, the noise and all the hubbub. We think it's a lot of fun. That's all I got for you for this week. You can check us out at blackhatcomics.biz, check us out at Facebook or our cool YouTube channel, or just get on down here to Rockin' Milpitas. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next week.